it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. This video, I'm taking y'all on a different kind of journey, uh, vlog style. I vlog a lot when I'm shopping. I do a lot of shop with me videos. There's an entire playlist if you want to go shopping with me in vlog style. Okay, but this video, um, I'm taking you along with me to my day job, my like full time, it's not Monday through Friday, but my full-time job that I do outside of YouTube, I thought it would be fun to show you what I do when I'm not making YouTube videos. I am, I will say, a one-woman show, so I wasn't able to show everything that I would like to show because I am the one carrying equipment, shooting videos, talking to people, so it's kind of hard unless I recruit someone else or like hire someone to like reality show style film me while I walk around. It's hard to show you what I'm doing um, but I did the best that I could. This day I was anchoring, so I thought it would be fun for you guys to see what I do when I'm not sitting here in front of this camera filming YouTube videos. Good afternoon. Today is Sunday, March 24th, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm headed to work today. I am anchoring tonight, um, so I kind of want to just give you a rundown of what a day is like for me when I don't go shopping and make videos for YouTube. So I do work full time as a news reporter slash anchor. If you didn't know that already, I work for WLOX in based in Biloxi, Mississippi, um, but I do live in Mobile. And if you are interested, you can Google me. I use Taryn Reed on TV if you want to look it up and watch some of my stuff. So I figured I'd show you what I do every other day that I'm not making YouTube videos. So since I am anchoring tonight, I just have my hair pulled back and I'll curl it or something before I go on TV tonight. I did put makeup on because before I anchor, I need to go out and shoot a couple stories. So I don't wanna show up to an event or to interview someone without any makeup on. Um, so I put a little bit on and I'll touch it up before the show, but I'll show you all of that. Also, I'm wearing this top Y'all know, I think I'm, I think I talked about this in a Belk video. Sorry, we're in a different spot. My suction cup thingy just fell. So yes, this is the second top that I own, but I'm actually taking a different top to wear on TV tonight. This is the top I just uh, talked about in that Shein, Shein video. Um, I absolutely love it. I ended up keeping it. It's this beautiful blue color, and I thought the ruffles would be really pretty for TV. But I'll show y'all all that stuff, how we get ready for a show. I'll take you along with me as much as I can on my stories, just kind of talk about what story I'm doing for the day. Um, and then I'll put at the end of this video, I'll put the full clip of the story, like how it ends up looking on TV if you want to watch it. So first things first, Brian is out of town today and I work really late tonight. So I'm going to let the dog out, get her squared away, and then my mom's going to come later and let her out again just so... You know, I don't like to leave her in that cage for too long, more than like four or five hours, and I start to get nervous because I just think I know what it's like for me to have to pee and hold it for that long, and so I hate for her to have to do that. <laughs> Go potty. We have to get Miss Layla squared away too, so she gets a couple treats. Yeah, there we go. Hi, get her some treats. Okay, Gigi, I'll see you soon. Bye, darling. I do need to stop and get gas as well. As I mentioned, I live in Mobile in Alabama but I work in Mississippi, so I do drive a little ways um, to work every day. But you know what I kind of like is living and working in a separate area, which is nice for my job because like, I've worked in TV and Mobile before, but it's been years. Um, so it's just kind of nice to come home and like no one really knows me. Is that weird? I feel like, like I can go to Walmart with no makeup on type stuff and I'm just the same as the person in line in front of me. So it's kind of nice to work and live in a different space. Um, all right, so we're going to stop and get gas. We're going to head out. I've been loving these waters lately. 
This is Tangerine Lime. The brand is Gold Emblem, but I got them from CVS and I bought like 10 of them. Not this flavor. They have a bunch of different flavors. But I think these are great for me because it makes me feel like I'm not just drinking plain water, which I'm not, but it's still the same benefits as water. And I really like them. Also, the Walmart brand is really good too, but where I was the other day, I was closer to a CVS kind of thing, so I just stopped and got these from CVS. Station, but look how beautiful it is today it's like 73 the news car says and just sunny and the water that's the Gulf of Mexico I mean there's so many people on the beach I wish I was one of them so nice today oh hey All right, so it's almost showtime. I'm gonna do my hair, touch up my makeup a little bit. Uh, my story today was on CBD oil. So that'll air later tonight at 10. Um, not in this newscast. This is for the 5.30 show. So I figured we'll do a little, let's get ready, and then I'll take you out there. This is WLOX News Now Weekend. Your news starts right now. U.S. Attorney General William Barr sending a letter to Congress this afternoon. One Coast group wants to keep the sport of bowling rolling on, even as bowling alleys close their doors. Desiree Duncan has the story. Another beautiful day to wrap up the first weekend of spring. Let's go to meteorologist Eric Johnson for a first look at our evening forecast. Springtime seafood cravings are in full swing, and now that it's Lent, more and more people are wanting crawfish, but some are hesitant about paying too much. Ray Price set out to find the answer to why people are paying slightly high prices for crawfish this year. Okay, so we just wrapped up with the show. I'm going to go ahead and edit my story for 10, and then we'll go grab some dinner. Okay, so it's now almost 10 o'clock. I got a little busy earlier, but I did edit a story, went to dinner. Now I'm just, everyone got quiet. Are you <laughs> no, oh. no, we're not live. trying to make it sound like you were busy. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so the 10 o'clock show is an hour tonight, and then I'm headed home. I know that ended kind of abruptly, but it's very hectic working in a newsroom um it's very deadline down to the wire last minute things happening so especially when i'm anchoring um, i'm responsible for not only being a reporter but also um, reading an entire show we had a 10 o'clock show on sunday night which is an hour long so i need to read that entire show and i try to um rewrite things to to more of what how I would say something versus just a standard line that a producer may write, I would like to rewrite it how I would say it in a conversation. So it takes a little bit longer um, to read through scripts and get ready on top of 
you know, touching up your makeup, fixing your hair, changing your clothes, miking up, shooting promos. So it is kind of um, a little bit more of a hectic day. But right now you're about to see my full story on CBD oil that I mentioned. Um, it did take me several hours to shoot and write and edit. So I will insert that right now. CBD oil is flying off Mississippi shelves after the 2018 Farm Bill legalized it in all 50 states. Tonight, local retailers and users are reaping the benefits of the product. You've seen the signs, retailers advertising that you can now buy CBD legally on the coast. So a lot of people we have come in looking for anxiety relief. It works incredibly well for that. And it comes in several forms, oil, gummies, vape, even dog treats. Little minor aches and pains because the dogs get all old there. They have joint problems, stuff like that, and it helps a lot. It's made from hemp seed oil. A CBD itself is a cannabinoid found in the cannabis plant. To be legal in Mississippi, it must contain less than 3% of THC. In uh, marijuana, the biggest uh, component is THC. That is what is psychoactive. That's what does cause the high and the euphoria. No smoke about it just opened its fourth location. This one is in Ocean Springs. And just a few weeks in, CBD is quickly becoming one of their best sellers. Um, what you're going to do is uh, you have like these bottles here. They're little 30 mil bottles and a full dropper amount is about a milliliter. So what's recommended is you take one to three doses per day of a full dropper. Yes, CBD is legal, but the age restrictions are a little hazy, unlike cigarettes and vaping, which have a clear law that users must be over the age of 18 in the state of Mississippi. I think you can only get bigger from here on out because a lot of people are starting to realize it's medicinal benefits. Those benefits include helping those with depression, pain, inflammation, even epilepsy. I spoke to several users who didn't want to go on camera. All are using it for the same reason, anxiety. They tell me they have experienced a difference and plan to continue using CBD. More information on CBD oil and the farm bill can be found on our website, WLOX. And that is a wrap on this video. Let me know if y'all like these kinds of videos. Um, I'll shoot them more often the best that I can. Like I said, it's a little bit hard for me to shoot myself shooting a story. <laughs> so that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.